Hello and welcome to a video that's a brief introduction to how to use emoji in Slack. This is adapted from an ebook written by me, Glenn Fleischman, called Take Control of Slack Basics. If you want more information about all the topics in the book, to download an excerpt or to purchase a copy, visit slackhelp.me. So you might think about emoji as silly symbols that are only used by young, goofy people to punctuate text messages. That's not entirely accurate in any case, but in Slack, emoji can be used for much more. The simplest way to use emoji in Slack are to react to a message. It's a compact way to provide a response to someone's message without posting yes or me too, or taking up substantial vertical space in the message list. You can react in a few ways. You can click add reaction. In a mobile app, hold down on a message and select add reaction. You can also press command or control shift backslash via a keyboard with a desktop or a mobile app. You can then click a handy reaction shown here just below the list of emoji or one of the most commonly used in your team, which are listed under frequently used, or you can scroll through a list that show all the emoji. If you like to stay entirely on a keyboard, however, you can click in the message field, type a colon, and then start typing an emoji name and Slack will present a list of options that you can select from. You can use uh, arrow keys to move among them, or you can click, or you can complete typing the name. Then when you hit return, it becomes an emoji in the message list. A nifty thing you can do with emoji is use them to have a quick poll based on a message by those in the channel. Pick emoji that you add to the message yourself to see them, and then ask people to click the emoji that fits their opinion, as simple as a thumbs up and thumbs down, or a green check mark and a red X. There's a neat hidden use of emoji that my editor, Tanya Enks, discovered while we were working on the book. Slack lets you search an emoji used as a reaction, so you can tag any message with one or more emoji that you use later to search against. This complements the built-in starred messages option, which only lets you mark a message to see later, but doesn't let you further categorize them. You could star a message and mark it with an emoji to make it even easier to search for or scan through in the starred message lists. You click in the search field and you type has colon and then another colon and the emoji name like colon smiley. You have to do the entire emoji name within the colon. Then when you hit return, it shows all matches in which there's a reaction that includes the smiley face. This can be useful both to find reactions to find the results of polls and you can use it, as I said, as an additional way to bookmark. Slack also lets you type emoji within messages using the emoji selector or the colon name colon shortcut. If you type emoji and no other characters on a line, Slack embiggens them. You can use up to 23 on a line before they're shown small. So let's say I want to type boom, smiley, and then some, and cat. And you see they're much larger than when they're used as reactions or in line. I can type the same message. I can type boom, smiley cat and they show smaller in line. If you've never explored emoji or can't keep hundreds in your head, Slack organizes them into categories so you can browse. Click the smiley face in a desktop or the web app and you can look through the categories, people, nature, food and drink, activity, travel and places, objects, symbols, flags, and custom. Slack lets you upload and name custom emoji. This requires a round trip to the web app. What icons have to be 128 by 128 pixels or smaller and no more than 64 kilobits. You click add custom emoji here. It opens a web page in the web app to the customize your team area. You choose a name for an emoji. You choose a file, click save emoji, and then it's available in that team. The desktop and web apps also let you select a default skin tone. 
If you look at the Emoji Deluxe section, you can click on the Skin Tone link, and then you can select which tone you want that best represents yourself or the message, including the gold tone. Some platforms do not support the emoji for multiple skin tones, however, most now do. Thanks for listening to this video about using emoji in Slack. If you'd like to learn more about how to use Slack effectively and well and enjoy the experience, you can get a copy of my book, Take Control of Slack Basics. Visit slackhelp.me where you can download an excerpt, read more about the book, or purchase a copy. Thanks for listening.